guys what's up welcome back to my channel it is me nika so today we're gonna be doing a double split hold on how do you say this I, we're gonna be doing a double split color block dutch pour i know that's a lot to say but that's what we're gonna be doing today i'm on here in my jammies i just I don't feel good today but I'm doing this I said I'm gonna get better and I meant it I'm gonna get better I'm gonna upload more but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this we're gonna be doing this on a 24 by 36 what if I talk like that y'all like all extra motivated we're gonna be doing this on a 24 by 36 canvas but let's enjoy the intro first right into this but before we do do me a flavor and subscribe to my channel it's super free like the video that's free too leave me a comment that's also free I'm gonna be leaving all of the colors in the description box below as normal so we are doing a color block we're gonna do some nice contrast between black and white we are gonna have black on our outer are like on the outside edges and then white in the very middle. I'm using Liquitex Mars Black. Now, the paint that I have in the measuring cup is actually not Mars Black by Liquitex, but it is Black by Artist Loft. And it's a little bit thicker than I would like it to be because I'm using Artist Loft. I'm not sure if you guys ever used their flow paint, but you cannot add a lot of water to it because the paints move way too much. Like they have their binders consist of a lot more water than other paints like Liquitex. So I am not able to add nowhere near as much water as I could if this was Liquitex. So I'm just going to blow this out and it's going to get a little bit difficult to blow out so then you're going to see me, you know, just spreading it out with my hands because it gonna, it's, it's going to get bad. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that we have all of our black down, I'm gonna go in with our first shade, and we're gonna be putting this on the in the middle on both sides. So we're gonna put it here, and then we're gonna go on the other side, and we're also gonna put it on the other side of this black. Now, the color that I'm using right now is a light blue violet. It's, it looks like a, it's on the lavender side, but it is light blue violet. It's beautiful, I love it, I love it. Quinacridone magenta. It reminds me of a red violet. Um, it's very close to a red violet, and I love this. It's my favorite. The blowouts with this is they're phenomenal. I cannot explain it. I love it. I know you guys have seen me use this magenta a million times. I love it. And our final color before we put down our shimmer or our metallic, I'm going to be using Prism Violet. Now all of these colors were by Liquitex, but if you missed it, they will be in the description box below along with my Amazon affiliate link for my supplies. Now I know you guys are familiar with how I lay my paints. The reason why I do this is just helps me control how much paint goes on the canvas. When I squeeze the paint, the, the white paint, next to my colors, I'm actually squeezing it right up under so that acts as my flood color so I don't have to flip my colors. But I'm going to go ahead and blow out my base for my white and then we're going to go ahead and do the fun part. my gosh there's colors blew out so beautiful you can already see me getting some natural cells now this part up here in the middle I was not too happy with I wasn't happy with how this looks I am going to be adding line work to this but I still want the blowouts to look a certain way so what I'm going to do is I know it looks like I'm going to pour over this but I'm not I'm actually going to scrape this off and start anew in this part So I scraped that remainder off with a popsicle stick. I'm sorry I didn't get it on camera, but after I scraped it to make sure that it was clean up under, I'm taking a paper towel and I'm just wiping away that paint so that it is like a clean surface and I'm going to lay the colors like I laid them before and then blow this area out again. art but you are in control you are the boss you tell it what to do so if for any reason it's not looking how you want it to look you can always scrape it start over again you can let it dry and then paint right over top of that but do not let these paints tell you what to do because you tell these paints what to do 
That makes sense? Yes, because you are the boss. It's fluid art, but you are in control. Please remember that. Keep remembering that. All right. So off camera, I did go and I added some gold lines using some frog tape. I actually have done this on camera before. I will put the link to the video um, where I've done it completely on camera. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys a little slow mo of it on the wall. This is actually being shipped out to the UK because this client is in the UK and they absolutely love it and I love it as well. I love the line work. It adds, it adds some sophistication that I can't explain, but it's beautiful. I love it. The gold, everything about it. Thank you for joining. I will see you next time. Mwah.